All right. Hey, what's going on? This update is going to be a big, a big one. As you can see, as I'm scrolling around the kitchen, I have four massive tubs of vinyl here in front of me that I just got from a guy in France, just finished the deal. And it is filled with holy grail after holy grail after holy grail of impossible to find rare metal albums. Almost all first pressing from, I'm gonna say mid eighties to, uh, there's some that are like from like 2006, almost all of them are first pressings. There's some test pressings. There's some stuff I've never had before. So before we get into this, as with all videos, when I do them, and flip through these i'm just coming off the top i don't plan this out i don't edit um i get things wrong i make mistakes and it is also worth noting that i know i'm going to see it in the comments yet yeah, there are no plastic sleeves on it which is a bummer but that's the way this collector kept them you got to buy the record collections you are offered not the ones you ultimately want and the vinyl here i'd say the average cover is about VG plus vinyl about the same. So they're not near mint, but you know, they're a bunch of 30, 40 year old albums, many of them. So let's get into this. So right off the top, I had this at the front just cause obviously this is what you think it is. This is a first pressing dissection storm at the lights, Bane. Uh, I was looking around on eBay and discogs and I, th I mean, this is an expensive album, obviously. Um, and I think the cheapest one I see online right now is two grand. I'm not saying it's worth that much. That's just the cheapest one that's available now. now. That may have changed by the time you watch this, but moving on, we have a picture disc of dissection, the Sombrerlian, Sombrerlian, however you pronounce it. This is the 1996 press. So this is first nuclear blast. I, I'm not totally nuts about picture discs, but you know, it's dissection, good shit. Moving on, we have Blood, Fire, Death by Bath Ray, their fourth album. First of the um, kind of Viking metal ones. And as you can see, this is under one flag. So this is, you know, again, European press. Moving on, in, in some ways my, one of my favorite bath ray under the black mark this is an og under one flag and then probably the last bath ray album i really got heavily into hammer heart this is when it was full on viking metal first press king diamonds i wish forget which album is this Oh, House of God. This is like mid-2000s, maybe 90s. King Diamond. Okay, this is a picture disc of the first bath ray. And I don't, I think it might be a boot, you know, uh, or, you know, bootleg, meaning it's uh, not official, but still cool. Then on to really one of the most evil albums of all time. This is, of course, Bath Ray, The Return. This is an original. This is the, I don't even know if this is a combat. This is the, this is the actual European under a black mark. Never even had one of those before. Super cool. And of course, the Big Daddy, not the yellow one. But this is, what is this one? The, yeah, this one's the under one flag. First, uh, I mean, if you want to get technical about it, second pressing, because the first one was the yellow goat, but this one's uh, still a big deal. Moving on, another uh, limited bath ray. Uh, I have to look this one up. Could be a boot. It's a numbered. Uh, so now we're getting into just shit you never see. This is the black from Sweden, High Priest of Satan, first press, Necropolis Records numbered 254 out of 666 now this is in the 90s when they weren't printing many 
vinyl because people just weren't buying them. Super expensive. Carthapian Forest or Carpathian Forest, however you want to pronounce it. OG 90s Press. Then, you know, can't ever go wrong with uh, Merciful Fate, Melissa. And a cool thing about this one that I noticed was it has the inner sleeve, which you never see. Most copies, especially the Mega Force ones, don't have the inner sleeve. So I think that's pretty cool. Then the Big Daddy, Merciful Fate, Don't Break the Oath. And this is, because it came out in Europe, it's it's a Roadrunner and not Mega Force. And then we got, you know, how can you go wrong? OG Bolt Thrower. This one is the you know, Earache. Carcass discanting the insalubrious original earache press carcass heartwork og earache press mosh 97 oh yeah what is this what the hell has this been i forgot um yeah i want to say it's conquer but i don't know if that's right definitely had this one before then uh another og uh, bolt thrower mercenary now we're going old school going back to the early 80s with an og venom at war with satan oh yeah yeah i think this is og because this is road runner it could be a very early reissue so it's still i'm not sure i have to look that one up then we got you know the big daddy and this one is yeah, this one is the neat record. So this one's the original UK press. Pretty sick. Uh, invoking, I know who the frost. Another Carthapian forest. This one's a compilation. Frost. First press. Rust in peace, Megadeth. This one is, I think it's a European pressing. It's a pretty expensive album these days. Killing is my business and business is good. So far, so good. So what, Megadeth? Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure this is official. This is a, a picture disc of Rain and Blood. I've actually never even seen one of these. And then also another limited edition picture disc. This looks like it was early. So yeah, this is this is real official. Right. Moving on. Uh, don't remember what that one is. Then we got super early Behemoth first album, I believe. And this one is oh it's Metal Mind, so it might be re an early reissue from Poland. More behemoth, more behemoth. I don't know what that is. Ah, this is cool. Carcass, Symphonies of Sickness, and it is the gory gatefold. Super cool. That's some kind of compilation. Black Funeral, OG Clandestine Blaze. This is Northern Heritage, the singer of Clandestine Blaze owns this album or of this owns this label. This is that kind of music that is to not be mentioned on YouTube. And we got a uh, Exmortem, we got Emperor picture disc. Ah, that, one, that one's official. Another Emperor picture disc. And, and, uh, Diabolicum. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice cover. Um, uh, what the hell is this? Fu uh, Funeral Mist. This is an original, I don't know, maybe early 2000s. Then we got uh, you know, the best Anthrax. Among the Living. I haven't even seen this is we got a little bit different cover. 
And this one is, oh, this is the French, this new music. This is, these are the French presses. I, I personally don't like these French presses. I think they look kind of like shit, but um, I've never seen one of those before. And then here we go. Uh, Suffocation, Human Waste EP. And this is, yeah, that's, that's a first press right there. Insane. We got Cannibal Corpse, Butchered at Birth. Never seen one of those. Fourth Crusade picture disc. Realm of Chaos. For Victory. OG. This is cool. Man of War, Hail to England. And this is another one of like some kind of French. This is usually on like Megaforce, I think. Uh, something. One of those uh, early metal labels put this out, but that's a different version. Man of War 12 and single, Man of War Battle Hymns. Now, I don't have these like in any kind of particular order. It's kind of how they came out. Other than I put a few at the front. Um, I don't remember what that is. Goat Penis, that's just a hilarious name. I've had some of their CDs. Gospel of Horns, some death metal, I believe. N Nifleum. These guys are like Swedish black metal. I think they're Swedish. Good shit though. I like them. And this is, a, oh yeah, this is a Mystifier, I think it is. It's like a, a black, black metal band, which is cool. I'm all for it. There they are again. Picture of it. Uh, Inferno. Infernal War. Ah, uh, Inquisition. This is two metal, two man, uh, black metal. I heard one of these guys just got busted for some kind of weird kitty shit. I don't know if that's true or if that's just one of the, the some like metal cucks rumor, but unknown. Another Inquisition. Another Inquisition. I really like these guys. They, they'd be about a hundred times better if they had a bass player, but. It's my opinion. Then uh, I've got some mutilation. I, I think this might be a one-man band. Maybe not. I can't remember. Black metal. More mutilation. More mutilation. These guys have a lot of albums. <laughs> mutilation again. Mascara or Massacre, however you want to say that. Mascara. Christian. Some uh, Brazilian death metal another og christian a little beat up curse of the evil one another goat penis <laughs> um halloween this is super early uh was like spv steam hammer and we got some halloween walls jericho Entombed, left hand pass, first pressing. That one's a beast. Then we got a very sought after album, Judas Priest, Painkiller. Looks to be in pretty good shape, too. And one of my favorite, I'm not saying new bands, but one I've just started listening to a lot recent, recently. That is Nun Slaughter from, I think, Ohio. Or Nun Slaughter. These guys have like 10,000 albums. I think that might be non-slaughter again. Not positive. Can't read that. And of course, good old Iron Maiden. This one's an interesting one. This is Iron Maiden. This is like some kind of like French. The French are one of these. This is OG too. Or it's OG or it's very early, like 80s. Iron Maiden Killers. This is, a, yeah, it's another one of the, I don't know exactly what that company is this is a iron maiden power slave but it's not the textured it's like some kind of european or maybe even like a club press and we got seven son of a seven son peace of mind i've never seen one of these it's a gatefold i don't know what that means never seen a gatefold version of that cool though then we got Number of the Beast, No Prayer for the Dying, 
somewhere in time. These are all first pressings. Judas Priest, Samael Passage, OG. Another Samael. Samael, however you pronounce that. I just saw them recently. Judas Priest. Is this Nun Slaughter again? I think. It, oh, no. It's, I forgot the name of this band. Um, oh, damn. I didn't even see this. This is a white label or a test pressing of Morbid Angel, Blesser the Sick. That's crazy. I did not even see that. I was originally going through it. Just kind of passed it over. Yeah, white label test pressing. Insane, insane. So, disabli. I don't know what that is. I know what that is, but I forgot the name. Another early, you know, 90s Samuel. Satanic War Master. More of that uh, black metal that is not to be named. Necronomicon. Some kind of compilation. Bestial Warlust. And this is a crazy one. The Wine of Satan volume. But it's got like this cross. I have to look this one up. Don't know exactly what the deal is with that. Black Witchery. Armageddon, this is Bella Fagor. It's an early press or first press. Conqueror, Oranoir, this is like a throwback thrash. They kind of sound like Creator or Voivod, depends what band they're ripping off on what album. Um, a little Split, Black Witchery. Do you remember what that is? Another Oranoir, Angel Corpse. Amorphous, first press. I think that's an arch goat. And then oh, I know what this is. It's a. I can't pronounce. I forgot how to. I don't know. How, I don't. I don't want to embarrass myself pronouncing that. And moving on, craft, first press. Another craft. All these have been reissued, but these are originals. Another craft. This is, I wish this was an original, but it's not. This one's a back on black. Black Funeral. Black Witchery. Now we're getting over into more just craziness. So we got Death. And this one is, yeah, this is, these are these French ones. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan, to be honest these French pressings, but if you're a Death fan, you know, you want to have all the pressings. And there we go, Spiritual Healing. Maybe my favorite Death album. This is definitely my favorite Creator album. And this one's OG. That one's a Noise. Then we got, this is like a, some kind of French version of Flag of Hate. Creator tel Terrible Certainty. Now we got OG Endless Pain. European Press. Some big ones here. Blasphemy. I have some other crazy blasphemy in here. And we got uh, Immortal. Some picture discs. These are official. Destroyer 666. Then we got it. This is very cool. Dismember like an ever flowing stream. And this one is first press. Nuclear blast. Insanity. Another destroyer 666. I'll get into the destruction. All hell breaks loose. Mad Butcher picture disc. Just a regular Mad Butcher. Eternal devastation. Probably the, the most popular album, the Infernal Overkill. This is released from Agony. And then, ah, another big one. Benediction. First Press. This album's a big deal. Then we got Blasphemy. 
Gods of War. This is a first pressing too. That's kind of insane. Getting on to the first destruction, Sentence of Death, EP. Whiplash, Insult to Injury. Kind of a weird album. They had a different singer on this one. And then my favorite, or yeah, probably my favorite Whiplash. One of the best thrash metal albums of all time is, of course, Power and Pain by Whiplash from New York. Three Tonys. We get into OG Blizzard Beast by Immortal, numbered, one of 1,500. It's crazy how small these runs were back then. Destroyer 666. Ah, another one. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Oscullum Infernum, however you pronounce that. And this, this one's not numbered, but it is first pressing. Moving on. Got some Creator 90s Coma Souls. Creator Extreme Aggression, their first uh, major label debut. And this is insane. I have not one, but two copies of Persecution Mania by Sodom. Both originals. This one is still in the shrink wrap. Pretty, pretty. Deep, pretty cool. <laughs> yes. So, let me go. I've never even seen this before. The Agasaba, that German song, the punk one. So that's cool. Saw is the law. And that is just the, the what's the name of this album? Oh, yeah. Exposure to Sodomy. Got that on picture disc as well. Then we got Big Daddy, Celtic Frost, OG, Noise. I think this is I think this is the first pressing. I'm almost positive. Then we got Celtic Frost, Emperor's Return, OG, Europe, first press. Then we got not one, but two copies of Into, Into the Pandemonium. Looks like the same pressing, too. Then we got Sodom. Agent Orange, this one is a gatefold. This one may be a reissue, not, not positive. It could be first two. Um, Beherit, Sodom, the live album. Archon, Split, Archon and Furnace. Don't know what that is. Archon and Furnace. I know what that is, but fuck if I'm gonna figure it out. Got a bunch by that band. Um, yeah, don't wanna. Ah, here we go. Venom, before the storm, kind of after the storm, after their prime. Um, got Dark Funeral, first pressing, which is pretty cool. Saw these guys recently. Uh, Venom, Prime Evil, Venom. Welcome to Hell. I believe that one is a first press. Neat records. Pretty, pretty cool. A Churnus or Atreus. Angel Corpse. Uh, I forgot what that meant. Maybe that's just a compilation. Inquisition. Archgoat. These are all originals. Even though this came out in like 2000, these first ones are really hard to get i love their, their artwork too it's very distinctive uh archron original uh, archron another one angel corpse another angel corpse uh og vader i think this is a high dollar album uh OG Vader, then got Gospel of Horns, Gospel of Horns. Um, I don't know what all these are, so uh, Horna, that's what those are. They make them so hard, so hard to read their name. Yeah, those are all Horna. Those guys definitely have to keep their albums mysterious. Then we got some Voivod, more Iron Maiden. Obligatory Live After Death, Killing Technology, Hell Militia. I don't know a lot about those guys. And I just forgot what that is. 
Nile OG in the beginning. You know, the uh, original Possessed. Possessed Beyond the Gates OG. Warship. I think this is actually called Pess. Sarcophagus. This is, I believe that's some kind, that's a carcass. And then this is also some kind of carcass album. I think that, yeah, it's Archon Split, I think. Then we got a, a Dying Fetus picture disc. Got Destructor, kind of a corny looking band, nice mullet. Nile picture disc. I forgot what it was. Yeah, deranged. Then we just got, you know, some Judas Priest, Wasp, Judas Priest, Wasp, 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 Wasp. More Hell Militia, God Killer, Hell Militia, Aphroid, or however you pronounce that. Bunch of uh, this prof Profancia. Oh, that's this. Then Ozzy, Ultimate Sin. That album's pretty expensive these days so now over to this one big daddy right at the front sarcophago urna this fortunately it's got a little bit of tape around it but i've never even had one of these and this is the original brazilian pressing which is kind of insane and i have some more brazilian stuff in here that's even crazier than this so and we got sarcophago rotting these are all ogs Sarcophago, this is an EP. Slayer, Live on Dead. So like the European, I think. Now, now of course, just hitting the Slayer. And we got a South of Heaven. Hell Waits. And this is Roadrunner, because it came out in Europe. And then we got, you know, Rain and Blood. Seasons. Haunting the Chapel, and then uh, Show No Mercy, and this this one is, as you can see, it's Roadrunner, because it came out in Europe, but this is still like the 1983, might have been, might be second press, and this is another Live Undead, like how they did them in Europe, I've never even seen one of these, Slayer Seasons in the Abyss. 12 inch single, and now we're getting into some more good stuff. Got obituary, slowly we rot. First pressing, Roadrunner. Obituary, cause of death, first pressing. Obituary, end complete. Razor, executioner song, first press. Razor, uh, violence. Ah, uh, this one's, I've never, honestly, I've never even had one of these except on CD. Uh, Pestilence, Consuming Impulse. To me, like, these guys are, like, the band that started, like, the original or the modern, like, kind of, like, suffocation style uh, death metal. And, uh, unfortunately, the Losers and Metal Cucks had their uh, tour canceled recently because uh, I was going to go because they're not Democrats. So, fuck metal sucks. That's right. This is a, a, a Sepultura Schizophrenia. And this one is... No, I'll show you something crazy with the Sepultura, though. Arise. <clears throat> this is weird. This is, this is how it comes. You'd think it'd be faded, but this is the French pressing of uh, Bonded by Blood. And it looks fucking terrible. Like, that's how it's supposed to look. His color's just fucked up. So, we got a Overkill Under the Influence. Years of Decay. Tankard. Uh, OG Sodom. Obsessed by Cruelty. Steam Hammer Europe. Gotta love this. In the Sign of Evil. I just love this album because it's, like, so old. Like, the pictures are in black and white. Like, look at Tom Angel Ripper's, like, bowl haircut. It's really fucking cool. And it's a good album. So, uh, what is this? Tapping the Vein, Sodom. Then we got a 
this first Pestilence album, like when they're still kind of a thrash band. Sabbath from uh, Japan, big old Neurosis. First pressing Terrorizer World Downfall. First pressing, uh, I forgot what that one is. Then we got a OG Ride the Lightning. This one is, uh, yeah, Music for Nations. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Got a OG Kill 'em All, o OG Injustice, Master, Megadeth, little Megadeth single. Uh, yeah, what the hell is this one called? I forgot. Oh, Revenge, that's right. This one's the one that is crazy. This is a Sel uh, Sepultura Morbid Visions, and this one is the original original. This one's the Brazilian press from, uh, it's on Shark Records, so this, this is a first pressing, which is kind of insane. Never even seen one of those before. Then we got a Sepultura Beneath the Remains, Angel Corpse, off or mod or how you pronounce that. Uh, these are cool. These are OG uh, incantations. Some of these are numbered too. Oh yeah, this one. That one's OG from like 1992. Immolation. Immolation. Failure of the Gods. I think it's from 1999. Impiety. This is the, I think it's Profonsi or however you pronounce that. Um, I don't remember what that is. Samuel or however you pronounce that. Got some uh, Immortal, more picture discs. Pretty sure those are worth something too. Neurosis, heroin metal. More Neurosis, got a bunch of it. Um, and Trius, ah, uh, Testament. I just, I can't listen to Testament anymore. Alex Skolnick is just so annoying. Um, got Tankard, Tankard, German drinking thrash metal. I don't even remember that one. Tankard, more Tankard. Then got some Twisted Sister. Ergothal, Ergothal, however you pronounce that. Uh, more mutilation. There's a ton of mutilation albums. Uh, Regurgit, I don't remember that. Regurgitant, something like that. Order from Chaos. There's a Rotting Christ. Picture disc. More Archeron and Faustius, or however you pronounce that. More of that. Secrets of the Moon. Not sure what that is. Not sure what a few. Oh, uh, not sure what a few of these are. Well, Malicious Secrets. I have multiples of this. Uh, I do know about these guys. This is a. Uh, oh, Enthroned. OG. Impaled Nazarene. I love that name. Uh, oh, Funeral Mist. Resurrection, OG Pungent Stench. I think that's a that album's a big deal. It's worth a lot. Um, more Arch Goats. I think those are all 90s, early 2000s. Uh, Sano. I think that's Sano. To Suter. How do you pronounce that? Something Sabbath and Testament. The only good Testament album, in my opinion. Oh. Uh, what the hell is that? Forgot. Forgot what some of these were in the back. Oh, and then I've got a whole bunch of like 10 inches. I'm just going to skip those because they're just so hard to pull out. Then moving over to this. Last one, and believe me, the hits have not stopped coming. So we got right off the top, 
We got monstrosity. I'll change this lighting a bit. Right off the top, we got monstrosity, imperial doom. And yeah, maybe I'll put the lighting back. All right, so we got monstrosity, imperial doom right there. Dark Throne, OG Transylvanian Hunger. Not the one with the Nazi shit, so this isn't like the $50,000 album, but still a big one. Moving on, got more Dark Throne, Under a Funeral Moon. Dark Throne, Blaze in a Northern Sky, First Press. Now this one is pretty, pretty crazy. This is Dark Throne, Blaze in a Northern Sky, test pressing. How insane is that? You will never see one of those. So we got some Napalm Death. Oh yeah, the hits do not stop coming. We got a first press, Deicide Legion. Oh yeah, and it's signed. Damn, I didn't even notice that. Signed by the whole band, Deicide Legion. Pretty, pretty crazy. But don't let it stop there because there is an original first pressing Deicide. Never even had one of those before. So that's pretty crazy. Then we got some Dark Throne picture discs. Uh, another Nephilim. And this is the big one. This is the one that everybody wants. And just an awesome cover all around. Pretty sweet. Got OG Bolt Thrower. Unleashed, original Unleashed. Morbid Angel, Blessed are the Sick. Another Nephilim, or however you pronounce that. Morbid Angel, Covenant. Morbid Angel, Domination. Goat Lord. Dark Throne. Uh, here comes some more big ones. Grave, Into the Grave, First Pressing. Entombed, Clandestine. This is some kind of limited. It's a little beat up, but. Then we got Grave, You Will Never See. And this one is First Pressing. This is one of the ones everybody wants, the CP. So, moving on, Gateways to Annihilation. That is, I forgot what that is. Oh, Napalm Death, Scum. This is one of the OGs, different color. One of my favorite new bands, or not new bands, but just been turned on to them recently. Nun Slaughter, awesome. Altars of Madness, First Press, pretty awesome. That is, then we're moving on, getting into the mayhem. And this, I don't know, this, if this was first press, it'd be like a thousand dollar album, but it's a back on black. And we got a, a Death Crush picture disc. I think it's legit, not sure. Another Death Crush picture disc. This one's definitely a bootleg, the suicide scene. And we got some gateways to annihilation. Anthrax, spreading the disease. Dead congregation. Motorhead. Mayhem Grand Declaration of War, first press. Morgoth, first press. Mysticism. Yeah, the Mysticultum from, don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Angel Corpse. And Angel Corpse sounds exactly like Morbid Angel, by the way. I don't know if you ever listened to them. They're, they're really good, but not the most original. And we got all these Morbid Angel. These are all bootlegs of some sort. Never even seen them. I'm sure they're bootlegs, though. And this, I don't know. This one is either a test pressing or a bootleg. 
have to look that one up. And that one's Abominations of Desolation. Got some Iron Maiden sneaking back in there. Arcturus. I think they're a Norwegian. More Mayhem picture discs. Originators of Darkness. This is Mayhem as well. Ministry. I can't take Al seriously anymore. It sounds like Keith Oberman screaming at you to electronic music. Uh, this is uh, Sono. People on Death, of course. Be Behear it. I got on some Man of War. Sign of the Hammer, Cult of Guyana, Impaled Nazarene. Is that a death spell? I think it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah death spell. And the, the, the odd one out, the lamest album, the whole bunch, The Clash. Got some Man of War, some 80s, Kings of Metal, Man of War single. More Mutilation, Hell Militia. Got a bunch of Hell Militia. I bet you the owner's even in that band. Uh, Destroyer 666. I'm starting to run out of room back here. BC Warlust. Just going to kind of flip through these because compilations, compilations, Beharit, Impaled Nazareth. Ooh, shit. Damn. OG. Levelant Creation, Ten Commandments. Fucking A. How'd I miss that? Put that one back in the front. That's big money. What? Motorhead. Motley Crew. Motley Crew. Funeral Mist. Man of War. Okay. That's as far as I go. Now, moving over to here. We got an assortment of singles. I'm just going to kind of... Flip through them real quick. A lot of nun slaughter. As it, uh, damn, there's some cool singles in there. I'm, I know some of these are money. Ooh, damn, a Gorgoroth single? Fucking A. Yeah, maybe these singles, maybe I'll slow down a little bit. And keep in mind that these are just the albums. <laughs> I've got a whole thing of CDs that I haven't even done yet. Oh, damn. Past. Oh, damn. Another Gorgoroth. I bet you those are worth money. Ooh, damn. Benediction. Sick. It's kind of flipping quickly through these. A Watain. Sabbath. All right, you get the idea. Now, just last but not least, let's go over to the 10 inches. So we got some Marduk. Uh, oh, is this the Satanic War Master? Oh, this, oh no, this is the Satanic War Master. Some kind of split. Behexen's Satanic War Master. Marduk. Uh, Behemoth, Abruptum, Eternius, ooh, Dead Congregation. Yeah, so I'm exhausted, but yeah, that is just all first pressing, all Holy Grail trophy albums, just a ton of them. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, but um, yeah, this is quite a haul. All right, later.